checked a thousand, we checked everything. Maybe on the zone, zone on radio on. Departure turn left, heading one two zero okay, via so far we'll vectors. Departure yeah, frequency one two five point three five. Squawk zero two Let's zero. Get our ADIS. Southern California. Contact high loss of flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact. You have information. Echo. 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 Frozen tower information. Echo. One nine or five three zero. Wind two two zero at seven. Gust one four. Ooh, Wind variable nice. between two zero zero and two six zero. Visibility one zero. View clouds at two thousand eight hundred. Temperature 24, dew point 14, altimeter 29 or 82. VOR Alpha approach in use, arriving and departing runway 24. Notice the airman, runway 24, Pappy out of service. Runway 24, localizer DME out of service. Runway 6, runway end identifier lights out of service. Airman advisory. The okay, ready with you. Okay, so 121.8 is ground. On here it says 126.025 for ADIS at El Monte, is that the same as... 126.025? Yeah, it says 025. So you gotta pull it up, Okay. turn to the... so you go right here, okay. pull up, twist, push. That's weird. Okay. okay. Alright, so we're on ground now? Yep. Okay. Go ahead, ask for a flight falling to Camarillo, and we are a Cessna 172 Slant Golf. Slant Golf? Yep. Alright, and we have Echo? We got Echo. Fullerton ground, Cessna 64460 at General Aviation, ready for uh, taxi to the 24 run-up area with information echo. We'd also like to pick up flight following to Camarillo. We are uh, Cessna 172 slash Golf. November 64460, Fullerton ground on departure, turn left heading 120, VFR vectors, departure frequency 125.35, squawk 0267. Alright, after departure we'll turn left to 120, we'll uh, change frequencies to 125.35, squawking 0267 for 460. So 460, read back correct, only 24 run up area taxi via Alpha. 24 run up area taxi via Alpha for 460. Alrighty, I got lean the mixture, flaps are up, okay. Alright, ready to go. Good. Good, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a squawk in for. Okay, actually can I do that yep. so I know how yep. to do it? Go for it. Okay, so we zero, just want just 0267. Yep, 0267. So we're on, okay, so zero two. Do I have so to push two? Two, two six, six, seven. seven. Perfect. Okay, cool. All right. You have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. Your flight controls. Yeah, this headset's way better. <laughs> way better, right? Way better. I mean, just the quality of sound from yeah. the tower and being able to hear myself, it's way oh. better. Zoom all the way in. I should be able to see. Fullerton ground Cessna 80238 student pilot on a complete request taxi 24. Do you have to say that when you're solo? Cessna 80238 runway 24 taxi via Alpha. 24 taxi via Alpha uh, 238. Wow, this is a very bad passive really? headset. Yeah, it's because it doesn't squeeze your head to death. Or, yeah. or no, like let's say like because I'm out of battery, right? So. Uh -huh. I'm I don't get the active noise canceling right now. Oh, okay, gotcha. So it's like, foo. <laughs> that sucks. All right, so, so this guy's gonna pull out. So uh, probably. Is just he gonna wait for us? No, just go right behind him. He's waiting for us. Oh, I gotta record. Did you see the last video? At the end, how I pulled it up on Google Earth, our flight, and it showed us like the altitude that we were flying at, exactly where. Uh-uh. I'll show no, you. I didn't. It's wild. So on fourth flight, if you click record, uh -huh. you can open it in Google Maps, or uh, in Google Earth, and oh. it shows you all that. Alright. Okay, nose real straight. Alright, before takeoff, we got foot on the brakes. Okay. Cabin door is closed and locked. You got your deal. <laughs> Flight control is being correct, so we'll go. Box. Alright. That's good. Uh -huh. Don't like it? No, it's good. Okay. 
Um, fuel quantity, we checked it visually and we're showing what we got. Um, fuel shutoff valve, we're on both. Kind of. Um, elevator trim set for takeoff. Go slight nose down trim. Um, throttle will go up to 1800. Okay, throttle at 1800, we'll go Magneto's check, so we'll go two to the left, I'm looking for the drop, there it is, back to both, one to the left, there's the drop, back to both, suction gauge, we'll check we got suction, engine instruments, green, green, uh, okay, amp meter, we are showing a charge, we'll hit the left switch, and the red light, the red light extinguish? Yep, the red light, that's what we're looking for. It's supposed to go out? Uh, turn it back on. Okay, no, okay, that's what I thought. Um, okay, I guess we should probably should have uh, gone full rich there, huh? Oh, you did do full rich, huh? Yeah. Huh? Full rich, right? Yeah, yeah got full rich. Um, okay, and then we'll go car beat. I'm looking for the drop again. There it is. And then no enunciator. We'll go to idle. Idling there. We'll pull the car beat. Idling just fine. Okay, looks good. Power back to 1000. We'll lean lean Alright, let's program our GPS. Go ahead, go to flight plan. Alright. Oh, plan. no. Yep. Yeah, flight plan. Push in. Okay, and. Small knob, turn to K. K E M T. So now big knob. Yep. And once you're done, press enter. T okay, press enter, enter and then put KCMA. So our first leg is going to be going to El Monte and then KC. Um, okay, A enter. enter. Good. Now click flight plan again. Flight plan. Yep, and then let's zoom in. So keep zooming in a little bit more. Miles. Just do like 10 miles. There we go, good. I'm just going to have it track up for us. Okay. Alrighty, we're good. Alright. And we're still on ground here? Yep. And uh, towers, the next one? Yep, so go ahead, set 119.1. Fullerton ground, Cessna 64460, run up complete, ready to taxi to 24. Yeah, we're 64460, runway 24, taxi via Alpha. Runway 24, taxi via Alpha for 460. All right. What was our wind? It was like 220. 2207, gusting 14. 7, gusting 14. Something squeaky. Yeah, I hear that. I hear the brakes like usual. Uh -huh. Contact tower, please. Over to tower for 460. Okay. That's the first time he said, ever said that. Yeah. At least to me. And then let's go ahead and put 125.35 on standby. You flopped. Yep, so okay. just do, yeah, 2535. Yep. Alrighty. Alright, so we're on tower now. Okay, uh, make let's sure. Just, let's go good. through our flow rate. So fuel selector on both, trim set for takeoff, carb heat in. Uh, mixture, we'll go for a little rich here in a second, and flaps are up. Oh, Cessna 238, can I turn base? Cessna 238, I'll call the base. Oh. Roger, 238. Fullerton Tower, Cessna 64460, holding short of runway 24 via Alpha. Cessna 64460, Fullerton Tower, runway 24, cleared for immediate takeoff, turn with mile right base. 
Cleared for me to take off for runway 24460. That's 23, base approved, number 2, following the Remos, one mile right base, runway 24, clear 2 left. Alright, so we have extra full ridge, and we're going to turn to 120, right? Affirmative, so we'll climb, climb out a little bit. Yep. Alright, cabin doors closed. Okay. All good. Get on the center line here. Come Heels on. to the floor. Yep, full power. And full power. Alright, take off power set, indicators in the green, airspeed is alive. Okay, airspeed's alive. Little slight left wind correction. Exactly, yep, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. A little more. Okay. Alright, we'll get 65 here. Okay. Fly runway heading for a little bit. Kicking a little bit of right rudder. Good call. So the frequency that we put into our standby is uh, yeah, SoCal? Exactly, yep. So right about here, we could go ahead, turn left, 120. 4640, connect SoCal departure, good day. Over to SoCal departure for 460, good day. Yep. All right. Just Go ahead, I'll, I'll swap it for you. Okay. So I didn't know if we needed to wait till this yep. turn completed. Or we'll keep the turn coming. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, check in. And that's SoCal departure. We have 800 climbing. Uh, SoCal departure, Cessna 64460. At 900 feet, climbing. Go over 64460, so campus. Uh, altitude zero discretion. And remain outside, let's take Bravo airspace. So remain outside of Bravo, 460. Remaining outside the Bravo for 460. Diddy's. 460, uh, are you uh, navigating towards El Monte? Hey, firm, for 460. Wow, I can't, I can't barely hear. Really? Yeah, so, alright, so did he say resume out? No, he said, are you navigating? Okay. So as is 460 clear to resume out. And 460, are we cleared to uh, resume on navigation? 460, um, at 1,500 you can resume on nav. At 1,500 we'll resume on navigation for 460. Okay, good. Just uh, 08 Juliet, set to maintain 1,600. Uh, just set to maintain 1,600, 08 Juliet. All right, 1,500. Now we can start easing in our turn to the left, Kinda but we'll climb to 3,000. So maintain the climb. Well, 3,000. That will keep us out of the Bravo. Okay. That's a 460. We should transponder about 4736. 4736. 4736 for 460. 4736. Good. All right, keep it. All right. So how do we get a direct line again? We go so direct, direct, enter, enter. 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 Cessna 460. Uh, actually, stay with me for traffic. All right, staying with you for traffic, 460. All right. And so when talking to those Remember guys, zero eight two eight. when talking uh, to those guys, basically they're telling you what they're telling back. So we're going to say 3,000, we're going to be flying uh, this below this Bravo shell. For the approach, no. we're going to say Juliet, and we're going to turn over to tower. We'll just kind of zoom in a little bit more. So we That's the 460, 10 o'clock, come on half eastbound, 1,300 appears to be climbing. All right, looking for the traffic. It's to the right. He said 10 o'clock, didn't he? Okay, yeah, yeah, he did. If you don't see him, just say negative traffic, 460. Negative on the traffic from 460. And then just do your altitude call out too. So 500 feet to go. Okay, 500 feet to go. Can I ask him for a position report? Is that something you can do? Like to like an updated 
Yeah, they were. Like for that traffic, I don't know if he's uh, like still okay. a factor or anything. Yeah, they'll, they'll let us know. 460, come to the bridge, uh, 124.9, the traffic no, uh, no uh, factor. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're just going to approach on the traffic. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and approach on 460. Alright, 124.9. 124.9, right? 124.9. Alright, 124.9. Alright, 124.9. Okay. Got a 1559, speed 180 or greater to Lima, contact power right, now, 1095. 180 or greater to Lima, tower now, 2095, Delta 1559. Drop west, just say, you're you're climbing, so by the time you're, just say you're level at 3000, yeah. 60 to Lima, south of the 880. Watch your head, drive with 3340, 210. Speed now 210, Skywest 3547. Okay, level out, don't climb. Drop with 886, traffic off your right, heavy Airbus for the uh, north complex. Contact tower now, 120 Over to tower, that pulls power to about 2200. Fuck off road, good afternoon, Alaska 1409's uh, just out of 125 on the uh, Angel arrival for 25 left. Alaska 1409, still call maintain speed 250. Go ahead, press direct, enter, enter again. 250, Alaska 1409. Good. Alright, go ahead, check in. Alright, so this is approach. Yep. SoCal approach, Cessna 64460, level at 3000. Alright, it's a good heading. Okay. Dial 66. 64460 SoCal, remain clear, class Bravo airspace, maintain VFR, October 2982. Okay, we'll remain clear of the class Bravo for 460. November 460, contact SoCal 128.5. 128.5 for 460. Southwest 2396, reduce speed to 160 to Lima, contact. Southwest 1067, can you see the airport from there through the haze? Not quite yet, Southwest 1067. Uh, please test a little bit. Alright, so just give me like 5 degrees to the left. Southwest 1067, 10 miles from Jetta, charting 230, maintain 2600 until we establish slow collider. Third hour action at 24 right. 230, 2600, total established, loose to the island, 24 right, southwest 1067. So is this another SoCal yeah, approach? Yeah, so it's the same thing, check in, level at 3000. This is 335, 12.5 descent of the ILS, 24 right. Region 335, Roger, maintain 250 knots. 250 speed, region 335. SoCal Cessna 64460, level at 3000. Southwest 1717, turn right at 160. Roger, 160. He's got bigger things to worry about. Cessna 4460, four, SoCal, okay, good afternoon. What altitude would you like eventually? 4500, right? Yeah, 4500. We'd like 4400, and we are Cessna 64460. That's a 64460, that's as high as you want to go, and with the camera rail, 4500. Affirmative. A-frame for 460. 460, cleared into class Bravo, climbing to 4500, it's approved. Cleared into the class Bravo, up to 4500, approved for 460. Southwest 1067, it's a trail of heavy Airbus 340, caution for weight turbulence, so and power and just tell what you're doing. Catch for VY. So we're clear, so let's cut it. Give me like a 330 on the heading. Southwest 330. Okay. A little bit, kind of. So pitch up, we're not climbing right now, so pitch up. Southwest 1717, turn rating 230, 10 zero miles from Jetson, maintain 2600 until established, code out from 24 right. 75, a good 230, zero heading, Stay Southwest 1717, maintain 1 inch on us to Jetta, can take by change of style, 123 point nine. 20 Jetta, go tower, Southwest 1717, you take care. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Out of Port 106, Southwest Northmost, please. Air 126 Heavy, reaching 2600, I'll slow you back. Out of Port 106. November 460, uh, what heading would you like to take? About 270. 
270 is going to work for us, 460. Say that again. Heading of 270 for 460. And 460, heading of 320 is approved in VFR conditions. Oh. Okay, say 320, 460. Heading of 320 for 460. American 180, Roger. Because he asked for our de uh, desired yeah. altitude, and then he said up, approved. Like that's approved. Okay. Let's just confirm. Okay. Just go ahead. And Cessna 460, just to confirm, we are cleared to 4,500. Uh, affirmative. Okay. Roger. 460. Did we cut someone off? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Legion 235, maintain 7,000. Expect no delay. 7,000, Lisa. Uh, Let's make sure get away from these clouds. 460, come to 4,500, resume on navigation. Says 4,500, resume on 460. Airflot 106, heavy, turn ready, 180. Turn right, on heading 180. Affirmative heading 180, right turn, nice tight turn for me. Right, heading 180, right turn, nice tight turn for me. Okay, so are we still going to El Monte? Is that over? Or can no, we El Monte's like right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. somewhere. Airplot 106 Heavy, turn ready in 200. I think 200, Airplot 106. All right, 50 to go. For 46 year traffic, 10 o'clock, 6 miles east down to 5,500 with Cirrus. Looking for traffic, 460. Airplot 106 Heavy, turn ready in 220, intercept the 24 hour localizer. I'm heading 220, Airflot 106 Heavy, maintain 2200 until established. Monday, Q Southwest 1532, so. Alright, I'm over on 124.6. SoCal Cessna 64460, level at 3500. 3500. 4500, my bad. Approach, good afternoon, Burbank altimeter 2980, taking altitude. 4500, correction, 4500. Number 460, thanks. Traffic 11 o'clock, 2 miles eastbound, Cirrus 5500. Looking for traffic for 460. I feel like we should get above these clouds. Go up. So, Kyle 64460, can we get 6500? Number 460, you can expect that in a moment. Traffic now 11 o'clock, half mile eastbound is a, that seems serious, 5,500. Looking for 60. All right, so he's gonna keep us clear of them. So we'll start giving a left turn a little bit, because we see. Yeah, the big cloud right now. We see the racetrack right there. We see the landfill. Here, it's usually Bravo traffic, no factor, contact approach 125.5 today. Traffic, no factor, 1255, two Julia Bravo. Cessna 460, traffic no factor, VFR climb 6,500 is approved. VFR climb to 5,500 for 460. 6,500 for Do you want 5,500 or 6,500? Yeah, you got it. 6,500 for 460. All right, go ahead. Let's just Oops. full power. Let's go all the way up, get above these clouds. I don't know why my mind switched because <laughs> I knew exactly what, was, what he said. Yeah. Whatever. No worries. It's a little overwhelming talking to uh -huh. so many people like that, but I think I handled it pretty yeah, well. Yeah, you, you did. I didn't know how many like different SoCal's or they're like, switch this, switch yeah, this. Why is that? They're just different. Like, 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 they're all like, one person controls, you know, a certain amount of set goal, and then they start handing you off. Got it. Yep. 
So right. those little squares that of Bravo, each, someone controls each of those? Uh, not necessarily, but yeah, you should, because they'll say like here, you know, 20 nautical miles of if you're on 125.5, so they're probably controlling about 20 nautical miles of their area. Okay, gotcha. See, I didn't know that. Good. All right, so start searching for your VFR waypoint landmarks. What should we see? So right now... There's a plane right here in 320. Right. Okay, 12 o'clock. Yep. It looks so like it's going away. Yep, just keep climbing. Yeah, I mean so below start us. pitching up a little bit more. Get a nice BY climb. Okay. Okay, so we got the 10 off our left. Okay. Um, is that base and yeah, deal 63, 62. There? Continue right turn heading 340. Contact approach 128.75. Have a nice point. Because I mean, I, I felt like heading 340 down for a second there. Yep. So you want to make sure that 10 freeway you're on the right side of it going way back. to Camarillo. Yep. Right. Okay. Because that's to avoid that's that Bravo. The Bravo. Okay, exactly. Okay. Gotcha. So we know that's the Santa Anita racetrack back there. So we're okay, good. So so what else can we expect next? Uh, in terms of landmarks? Landmarks, yep. That's a weird layout you got. <laughs> What's the layout that you're you're used to? Uh, truck up north? Or why is it flip like that? I think it's because I have a flight plan, uh, so it's giving us direct like that. Okay. So far, approach six, and I think there are six, one, six, five thousand five hundred. Right, so so, so two, another way, yep, if you use your... Six, one, six, five thousand five hundred. Yep, we just got to make sure we don't clip any of this airspace. That green line, that's all Bravo. Yep. So when they said resume on navigation via far, we we're, could, we're, we're not clear. Yeah, we're not clear to go into Bravo, correct. But no right longer. now, but right now we're about to go in through what, Burbank, Class Charlie, that's okay. Okay, gotcha. As long as you have a squat code, you know, they clear us for a certain altitude, we're good. This is badass. <laughs> I like yeah. the clouds, it's so fun. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we got up here. Dog 3, Papa Charlie, contact circle approach 125.5. Circle approach on 125.5, Sky 153, Papa Charlie, good day. So, Cat Departure, Citation, Secretary at Tango, with you climbing through uh, 2,000 on the very okay, So, if you want to kind of dip your wing a little bit, I see Rose right Bowl right there. Contact. Come on in, see you. Yep. This is probably what, the 210? Uh, let me, yep, 210, you're right. Yep, okay. So we're gonna s have the 210 off our left wing. We're gonna have the 10 eventually off our right wing, it looks like. On the way back. Station 330 at Charlie, turn right heading 320, vector climb. That's for Julia Tango. Station 320 at Tango, affirmative turn right heading 320, vector climb. 320, Julia Tango. The female controllers are so much more appealing. Yeah. <laughs> They're nicer for the most part, too. Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, okay, I'll okay, okay, one six coats are off, I'm nine is out. Can you hear a little better now? No. I don't have, sucks. yeah, I don't have battery. That's yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like bumbling. Like 816 Hotel, Alpha Hotel, uh, third center. Alright, we got 100 to okay, go here. 100 to up. go, good. So once you hit your altitude, push, just level the nose, gain some airspeed before reducing your power. Gotcha. Station 3 Juliet Tango, call and maintain 8,000, fighting 340. 340, 8,000, there you go. Start a little yeah, bit. Yeah, but just hold that level, airspeed's gonna start increasing. About 85 maybe? Pull it back. Yeah, keep bit. it coming, keep, keep it coming. It coming. Yeah. Should be able to. Right about 100, and then you can start pulling to about 22, 23 on the cruise. All right, good. So give me 10 degrees to the right. Just kind of, and also you have just use yeah, GPS as well. Make sure. Okay, Station 3 Juliet Tango, Alpha Tango, Alpha Tango. It's like yep. a plenty runway. Yep. That's Burbank right there. 
Should we go full mix or we're just to keep it? No, because at that point we we should be leaning a little bit more as we gain altitude. So now let's start thinking about what's our next step, right? We're waiting for ATIS to come in and we'll pick up ATIS. Uh, now we got to plan our descent. Pattern altitude is about 900 over at Camarillo, I'm sorry. Yep. Uh, we need to descend roughly about uh, 5,000, 500. yeah, 5,500 feet. So let's say for every thousand feet, you lose about three miles. So five times three, what is that? Fifteen. Fifteen, and let's add another five. So let's give yourself about eighteen. Eighteen uh, miles. Yeah. At a five hundred foot. Seven six one eight traffic south. Moving till one o'clock and a mile. And how do you know what? Uh, the vertical yeah. speed descent you need is you use your ground speed divided by 2 at 0. 35.05. So let's say it's 100 divided by 250 at 0. So that's 500 feet per minute. 80 divided by 2. Gotcha. Alright. Check out King Air 17. There's Dodger Stadium. There's LA. That's a good landmark. Skyline. Okay, so you kind of go to the ground after. Uh, looking, 767, All right, next, as you're flying, you're cruising, everything's nicely trapped. Always think about what, let's say, what happens if our engine quit right now, right? Where can we go to land, what all that stuff, right? Right. So let's, since we have GPS, use this big map, turn, Keep right. turning to the right, one more, one more, one more. Nearest. Nearest, so okay. this is showing us what's around. Okay. All right. Gotcha. So this is showing us that. Nope. Band 9. Okay. And all you have to do is just click direct, enter, enter, and it's going to give... whatever you're highlighting. Exactly. And that's going to give you, you know, a, a heading the longest runway. Right turn, 340, LAX, it's LAX, yep. Nice and busy. Nice and busy, yeah. Uh, it's a plane out there, 12 o'clock, yep. climbing. Surprised you don't have your little traffic deal. No, I did charge. I was going to ask if you have a battery pack. There. I do. Next turn. I should have. <laughs> I do have one right here. Got to charge it. I'll bring it next time when we do cross country. I like these flights. A little time to look around. There's, yeah. a, there's a Cessna right under us. Well, not right under us, but it's there. <laughs> Southwest 5768, come and maintain 14,000. 
So the next frequency we could expect is 134.2. Command 28618, contact Circle Research 120.4. 120.4, thank you. And that's just looking at like the sector there? This, yep, the section right now is 124.6, 134.2, and after SoCal for 134.2, it's going to be Point Magoo approach. Okay. And that Point Magoo approach, at that point we should have our ATIS, let them know what ATIS we have for Camarillo. Gotcha. Let's see if this comes in. Those airmen are the the only two four look like the DME. Large initial contact, you have information, the Yankees. Camarillo airport information, the Yankees. Wind 2209 is ready, Wind 0. Survey to contact, come on, maintain 6000. Come on, maintain 6000, Alpha 5768, Ceiling 2,200 broken, temperature 23, 2.15, altimeter 2981, VY GPS approaching the landing in the planning runway 26, use caution parachute jump activity in effect 5 miles northeast, Adam below 8,000, from the view approach frequency 1. 31, turn right heading 320, that's our client. Right heading 320, sky west 3391. Air 7, Nova Virgo, contact Virgo search 134.9. 134, 7, Nova Virgo. All right, so we got Yankee, wind is 220 at Niner, uh, 2200 broken for the cloud, altimeter 2981, and we're using runway 26. So so we're still 36 miles out, should we keep our altimeter that we got? Yeah, we're, we're, we're good right now, for now. So 26, right, we're, so we can expect a uh, straight in on the... Approach. Right Six Hotel Alpha, contact for Delivery 134.9. 34 Nine, good day, Six Hotel Alpha. Yeah, 3391, call and maintain 13000. This is Van Nuys. Call and maintain 13000, Scott's going to be on the left. So we'll see Van Nuys, Burbank. That is what the. I don't know what freeway that is. The, what, 134 or something? I don't know what freeway it is, I was just curious. Because I think we're, the 101 should be coming out right here. Let's see, yep, 101's right, oh. one th 134. Okay, okay, so that's up toward, uh... Dock 64460, contact Delivery 134.2. Over to 134.2 for 460. Alright, so we're level at 6500. So call approach, Cessna 64460, level at 6,500. 64460, so Is he just acknowledging us? That's basically yep. it. Okay. That's good. So, do, 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 so I'm going to kind of teach you how to track using VOR. So I'm going to put in, so the camera has a VOR, 115.8. So go ahead, push down. Down. Tune in 115.8. Okay, and then push it back down. So, yep, that's, oh, I'm sorry, actually. Swap it. Swap it first. Yep, and then push it back down so you go back to frequency. Okay. Now, make sure, press that CDI button. Okay. Make sure it's in VLOG mode, so now you're navigating using VOR. What you're going to do is, I'm going to show you. Um, we're turning, 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 until it's showing that two, two. indication. Okay. And that needle's going to slowly come in. Right. to the center. Now we turn that heading, right? Yep, so right now expected heading should be roughly, what, 260? Yeah, so start turning a little bit to the left. 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 
you got to go right. more to the left to re intercept right. that, right? Because it showed that you're... Zero, traffic, two o'clock, and two miles southwest on Phenom Dick, climbing out of 2.5 per 6,000. Looking for... Got it? Yeah. Looking for traffic, 460. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. 12 o'clock. Turn right, heading 280. Expect direct walker. Climb and maintain 13,000. So right now we're right on the BOR. We're going to the station. So, I practiced this on the simulator, and I got this part, but when you say, like, if we inter did an El Monte BOR and we wanted to do an outbound heading, do you turn as soon as it does the, like, where it swaps, and then you turn to the heading that you want? Is that how that works? So, let's say, what, what your El Monte? Well, like, okay, just for example, like, how would you fly a, an outbound heading? A flop indication? Yeah. So like say you were coming in, say we were going to Camarillo, and we wanted to get an outbound heading from that VOR to Santa Barbara. 500 going to El Monte, uh, is that you would doable? Like, is that a way of navigation through VORs? Uh, or you usually, have to VOR in front of you? Yeah, you can fly the outbound, but usually like you'll find another VOR that's in front of you, and then you track that to indication. 0273, zero something. Sure, 210 for T-Drug, Walker, maintain 1, 3,000, expedite through 7. See, because there's usually VOR everywhere. There's a the VOR over at Santa Barbara, so you two one one four point nine. You set that to indication. Because what happened is that once you fly the front indication, eventually you're going to have to find another VOR to hop on. So it's just better to find stuff in front of you. But sometimes if it's too far, you're not going to be able to get that VOR. What's the range on a VOR? 40 nautical miles. Like there's terminal, there's low, there's high, you know, the long one could be a hundred. So if you uh, identify it, right, there's a Morse code? Yep, so you would, right, for example, push down. 210, conduct approach, 128.75. Press down. Is there my Fox or Roger, is there a fire, you're direct swan I know? So you want to hear beep, beep, or whatever the code may be. GPS, RNF, up to the approach. My Fox or Roger, during the final of Swana, the next controller, uh, so we're passing that noise right now. Seven five thousand for eight. All right, Mike Fox. Ooh, that was so clear. Okay, so the one hundred one's right under us. So that's kind of I don't know what's ahead up there in terms of air, airspace, but it seems like right here we're just going to be flying the one hundred one. Yep. At this point, there's really not much out. It's just empty land till Camarillo. Yep, so just yeah. come to the left about five degrees and just hold it. So as you get closer to the station, more sensitive. More sensitive. So we're what, twenty eight miles out? So this heading of two six zero is a direct heading. So if we pass two six zero we can expect a right turn, right? Essentially this if you were to make this your view, yeah, there it goes to the right. So now you gotta come back. Okay, that makes sense. And look, if you try again to right enter, it should be around 2-6, yeah, see, like right where we are. Cool. Hope so now you got to start turning yeah, and I'll hold that 2-6-3 or... It'd be kind of interesting when yeah. we do more VOR work to look at that recording and see how... Like, uh -huh. Yep, just kind of hold this. There we go. So maybe yeah, about right. another Microsoft seven about miles or so, let's go ahead and ask for a VFI uh, descent. Our nav runway 26 is a approach. All right, my Fox Rep, I'm going to rejoin the approach at Swan. I'll have lower shortly for opposite direction traffic. It's all right, Mike Fox Rep. There for Delta traffic, 12 o'clock in uh, four miles southwest on the loop, west by shortly uh, G4 at 5,000. Okay, uh, an A4, you said at 5,000? Zero for Delta, he's at 12 o'clock, and uh, two miles, turning westbound now, Gulfstream 4 at 5,000. We got the Gulfstream inside, 2 3 jump for Delta. Right, my Fox Road, the center maintain 4,000, traffic will be passing off your right side, Malibu 3,500. Do you know what these okay, lines are, these sites on 4,000 for each other? Uh, your you gliding distance, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. 2478, you're right, Mike. So that's saying if I held 65 from here... You should be able to roughly... Uh, get in that area. Huh, oh, interesting. So, it would technically say that I could get to Van Nuys. That's good to know. Be 
you think will be descending before this bub? Uh, actually, let's go ahead and ask for a VFR descent just to kind of stay below because there's some layers in the front too. Okay, so. Uh, so, so Falco, uh, Cessna 6446, sir, would like the VFR descent. So Cal Approach, Cessna 64460 would like to uh, start a VFR descent. Number 460, VFR descent approved. VFR descent approved for 460. Alrighty, so we'll just pull power back. And just a nice 500 feet per minute, no rush. Yeah, or, yeah 24 miles out. So some of my viewers were uh, wondering what your end game is. I know you told me, but if you want to say it on camera, what your plan is in the future. Airlines. Yeah, airlines. Airlines, yep. Eventually. Plane to, what plane uh, would you want if you could pick out of any plane in the world? Any plane in the <laughs> like world. Like an airline plane. I don't know. A350 or A380, those two. Ooh, A380. Yeah. Big boy. <laughs> big boy. But that's far away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's good though. It's yeah. good that you have that end game. Maybe end one day we'll be co pilot. Or yeah, that'd right be right awesome. There. Yeah. Any plans on uh, getting your own plane one day? Uh, not yet. But I mean, I've a lot of students asking me the same questions. See, like, let's pitch in and let's get a plane together and we could go fly. Yeah. 04 Delta, contact approach 124.6. You said 500, is it like a, or yeah. I mean, is it, you want to go to 500? Uh, let's, we'll just keep coming down like 3.5. Well, let's check our terrain first. What's the highest peak of this sector? Probably going to be that peak right in front of us. Yep. That's showing. 35, so just yeah. you know, come down to like 36, 30. Okay. Let's do a flip. Just as long as we're below these clouds. Right. Yeah, like this Friday, I'm going to be going to bracket, flying out with a student, up, uh, just for fun to go play golf over <laughs> at Carlsbad. Ooh, I'm jealous. Uh, uh, 4-0-2-4-0, Yeah, there's actually a few uh, YouTubers in this in the LA area that do aviation videos. Sorry, uh, uh, once you once I get to a uh, like more... Down. Yeah, So what would happen if you well, obviously, I know what happened, but like, it obviously gets to a speed where it's unsafe. But is it something that is? Let's keep descending first. Yeah. yeah. Is it something that's doable to the point where, it, say, you cruise out and you leave more power in and just trim down? Because like, it seems like when we we're cruising and then we'll uh, or we're climbing, we set for cruise at altitude, we pull back power and pitch down. Is it some like if you? get more speed out of it I don't know like yeah so you want to just get your speed out of it that's the goal really because you already have your speed your power in right might as well just lower that nose gain that extra air speed okay uh -huh. So we gotta kind of dodge these yeah, clouds. Going to the right here. So let's start going to the left because the right. airports are gonna be over these peaks. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just give me like a two six zero, get us down to like three thousand. Because at this point we could see the land pretty far. Pull back a little bit more power. That's on four six zero contact point Magoo approach one two eight point six five. Point Magoo approach one two eight point six five for four six zero. Alright, so this one, just let them know we're descending, and we also have, what was our, we have Yankee. At Elma, at uh, Camarillo? Camarillo, so, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, it's Point Magoo. Uh, yeah? Yep, yeah, Point Magoo approach. Hazard alert, two nautical miles, yeah. aircraft. What? Point Magoo, Cessna 704, Joey Hotel, at 5,500 feet. Number 04, Julian Hotel, Point Magoo Approach. No landing, no way traffic information available for Santa Paula Airport. Camarillo's uh, marginal VFR, the wind uh, 220 at Niner. Visibility is 10, broken ceiling at 2200, altimeter is 2981. 
What was the information at uh, Camarillo? Yankee. Yankee, come. Point Magoo, Cessna 64460, descending with uh, Yankee at Camarillo. 64460, Point Magoo approach, thanks for Yankee, maintain VFR. Maintaining VFR for 460. Alright, well. Bumpy. Bumpy. Yeah. yeah. Alright, now we know that Point Magoo is our last frequency. Alright, so we are going to go over to Tower right, next. Yep. 28 2. 128 2. Affirmative. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. Alright. So we're under the clouds now. We want to intercept back to direct. Yep, so try direct enter enter again. Get yourself yeah. lined up. 704 Juliet Hotel, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles, uh, appears in the opposite direction, 4,400 yeah, types of miles. Slow us down, watch your airspeed. Look up for traffic, 704 Juliet Hotel. Especially if it's this bumpy. Yeah, do uh, you want to get the stress? Yeah, green stress. Yeah. <laughs> this does not look scattered to me at all. <laughs> right. It looks pretty overcast. That's what I was thinking. Alright, so. Yep, give me a left. We know it's going to be somewhere 260. That's right. our runway. And the four Julia Hotel update on the traffic now. Uh, Twelve o'clock and two miles, four thousand four hundred. It's going to be in a, in a uh, left hand orbit. And all the way. Yeah, cool. Anything uh, below three thousand five hundred. Full uh, 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 width. Traffic in sight. Seven seven zero four Julia Hotel. Looks like he's doing circles around the shoreline. Roger that. See this peak right there? Just yep. aim right at that. Yeah. A little bit more to the left. Is it before that or after? No, it's going to be after. That was going to say 14 miles out. Yeah. And that peak is. Let's, let's look right here. Maybe. Tell me. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll clear it. Okay. I was just curious what yeah. the. I just. Do we want to level out at any point? Yeah, let's just level out a little bit. As we get closer, we'll go down. We will hear off the Delta Magoo approach. We'll go out to 2981, clear direct Quang. 2981, direct Quang, Delta Magoo. Give me another 10 degrees to the left. 10 degrees. Like a 260 on the heading. We're still descending, so just level out for now. Let's come down to about 2,500 and level there for now. Okay. Point Magoo, departure, Bonanza 189er Lima Echo, 800, climbing uh, 4,000. 189 Lima Echo, Point Magoo approach, radar contact, climb and maintain 5,000. Okay, up to 5,000, 9er Lima Echo. Kind of shoot that gap, kind of? Yep, right in the gap, and you'll see the airport. Four four six zero contact Camarillo Tower one two eight point two. Over to Camarillo Tower one two eight point two for four six zero. All right, just let them know we're inbound with Yankee. Ten five zero. Echo left to Bravo Company. What we're just Bravo Company eight five zero. Right. We'll just hold two thousand five hundred for now. Tower Cessna 64460 inbound to land level at 2400. Yeah. Cessna 64460 coming tower, make straight in runway 26, clear to land. Making straight in for runway 26, clear to land runway 26, and we do have Yankee. 460, oh, that's okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> I say one thing and I forget yeah. the other. It's like, boom. All right, so 9.8 miles out. Right, let's get a little lower. Let's go down to 2,000. So if you follow this freeway, Camarillo is going to be right on your left. Okay. But this is a good heading. You know, What's that, the 101? Yep. Kind of skirts through the hills here. Yeah, the clouds are every bit of 2,500, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Going to level here at 3,000 or 2,000, or just uh, slow our descent? Let's slow our descent, but let's keep it coming down now. Okay, okay I got the airport in sight. We are flying 260. Uh -huh. That's it right in front of us. Yeah, yeah. got it. And Camarillo has a very long yeah, threshold. <laughs> I watched the video. Yeah. I was like, holy smoke. Alright, so power line is there. Let's level out right about here for now. Just add some power and just level. Okay. And tower, Coast Guard 6563, complete with training today. Request takeoff and departure, left hour departure to the queue. Coast Guard 6563, north back, clear for takeoff. Left crosswind approved, crosswind with 26. And clear for takeoff, north pad, left cross, cross 26, Coast Guard 6563. And then, what else can we do? Um, well, we can probably yeah, plug in ground. 918 Victor, Tango holding short, 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 Clear for takeoff, uh, All right, let's just line ourselves up with the runway. Oh, wow, that was right in front of my face. I was looking at oh, the you were looking left the over there. Uh, I was like, man, it looks a little small compared uh, to the video that I was watching. What is that? Is that? Uh, just a taxiway. Oh, wow. I don't want to be Harrison Ford over here. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, let's, oh, let's just hold level at 1500 till we get a little closer. This runway I was looking at. Coast Guard 6563, Freaking Change Crew, have a good day. And Freaking Change Approved, 6563, thanks for your help today. I was reading that this place has a really good airport restaurant. Yep. Been there? Yeah. I, I took my, should, uh, yeah, check ride here. Oh, did you? Yeah, awesome. for my instructor, multi-engine yeah, rating. Nice. plan that out sometime. <laughs> we should yeah. add an extra 30 minutes and instead of we charging could. me for instructor time I'll just buy you lunch. Yeah. <laughs> and it's free parking too. Is it? Yeah. Wow. It's a pretty busy airport on the it weekends is. I heard. Uh -huh. Alright, so it's saying we're high so I'm going to start a slow descent here. Yeah. I have a feeling that this long threshold is going to play with me and make oh, me come oh. in low so I'm just going to come in low. Our flight plan, where you at? How do you go back to the map screen? Okay. Three miles out, so I'm gonna slow up here, get back in the arc. Good for 
the flaps here. Yep, go the door. Uh, yep. Car P comes on. Yep. Frequency change, hey, Victor Tango. Was that 8 Victor Tango for inch change approved? Frequency change approved, hey, Victor Tango, see you soon. <laughs> Why did they do that? Just because of all the hangers back here? Uh -huh. yep. That's crazy. Complete stop. Yes. All right. Yep. Clean up. Get a window. All right. Carpet in. Mixture lean. Good. Flaps up. All right. Go ahead. Squat VFR. 1200 gram. Yep. So, or you just press VFR, right? Here. Oh, nice. Good. All right. Let's ground now. We're at 26 Bravo. We'd like to taxi back on runway 26. Camarillo ground Cessna 64460. At Bravo, runway 26, would like to taxi back to runway 26 for departure. This is 64460, Kimmy Garmin, runway 26, taxi to Hotel Alpha, say direction and departure. Hotel Alpha, uh, 26 Hotel Alpha, and we're going to be doing right down with departure 460. Right down. Alright, so he says hotel, so right here. Yep, hotel. And then Alpha is going to be all the way at the end. Gotcha. Would we do another run up? Or no, at not? this point we then, yeah. we don't need to. No, no, just making sure. But I'll show you where the run up is because when we once you start doing your cross country solo, you're gonna have to come here by yourself. So be careful. This is hotel. Okay. Yeah. So let's say you come to an airport that you're not familiar with. What can you do as a student pilot? There's a. Uh, you can ask for a progressive taxi. Yeah. Good. So. C3. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Still have this checklist mail up. <laughs> Some big bucks in those hangers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright, here's Alpha. Okay, yep, go ahead, turn left. So this whole area is for run up and you just follow the T. Okay, good. And if you ever need a park, you go over there. Ask for transient parking. Where the restaurant is, those are all the free parking. 
right on. Okay, good. What's our next frequency? So we're just going to swap back to tower right. once we come to a complete stop. And what was uh, Point McGill again? 126.85, I believe. I think that's. They'll yeah. give it to us after. Right. And then we can go flight plan, menu, bring it to invert. We just that's just it. flops it. Are we doing without that? or? Uh, we could track back however you want. Just show me how you would get back now. Okay. Uh, let's go back to four flight here. Alright, All right. we are on tower. Yeah, just let them know we're going to be doing a write down with departure. 